Hello everybody. Happy New Year's Eve. When I'm filming this, it's actually New Year's Eve. I look really bad right now, but I'm in my little matching sweatsuit moment, so I'm feeling kind of low-key bougie. Let's talk though. I don't know. Okay. Okay. My camera screen. Hello, I don't know what I'm titling this video, but basically I, it was only like a month, a month or two ago that I did a bookshelf tour because a lot of people were requesting it. That is my bookshelf back there. It is like this lack um, thing from Ikea, lack, the lack shelves. So you have the mini ones, the ones that are about this big, the ones that are like this long, and then you have that. So I have those lack shelves. I went to Ikea this morning, didn't vlog that because I didn't even plan on vlogging this, but then I thought maybe people would like it. I ran out of bookshelf space, so I have some books sitting in a really random place. So I got this new little like cube kind of organizer. You guys will see it. But I'm going to put it right here, and then I got some floating shelves put above it, and we're going to have that. It's going to be cute. I have these shelves over here with my shoes. It's missing a pair that are in the other room, but I also bought some more to put onto this wall. So we're going to do all that today. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. So let's do this. Okay, guys. So this is what I was saying. So basically, this is what the organizer looks like. And then I got four little floating shelves put at the top of it and then these are all the shelves for my shoes so excited looks like love it we're gonna organize all that in today's video but we are about to hang up these but i'm going to put my camera battery on charge because i didn't realize that it's almost dead okay hello everybody it's hours later if you guys hear somebody going what is that that's mila in the corner so we have the finished bookshelf i put my little desk neon sign above it haven't put any books in it yet that's what we're about to do and then i have my floating shelves I'm missing two of them because something's going on with them. So we're gonna have to put them up tomorrow, but that's fine because honestly, I wasn't gonna put anything on those until I get my chair that I'm asking for for my birthday. So we weren't even gonna be putting nothing up anyway. But anyway, so we have these shelves, but we put these shelves up. So I'm about to put my shoes onto the shelf. So, so I went ahead and organized all these. I didn't film them because, yeah. But basically, I put all of my dunks down here, and then you guys can't see. Or, yeah, now you guys can see all of them. So I put all my dunks on here, and then I just did all of my ones. And then these are dunk fives that they can fit on here. I don't have shoes fill the space, but I just wanted to get the extra shelves that way I have them. That way you already have extra versus not having enough. So I just put my threes, fours, air forces, and then here is like my easy shelf. So anything that's easy, like my three fifties, and then my two easy sides. So that was simple and easy, but this is a whole different story so basically i got a lot of bookshelf space and i don't think my dad could grasp that idea because he was like you don't have enough books to fill the space and like i just said it's better to have extra than to not have enough so i bought this bookshelf so that i would have some extra space because i am growing my book collection so that is what we are going to be doing i'm going to be taking all of the books out of this and we're going to be trying to organize them here. Took all the 
books they're over there down. so i have so since i don't have that much honestly Lay down. Lay down. i'm bringing back out my pops i literally have not even seen some of these oh. most of them are shiny things to me but i know i have a spider-man one yes i do i gotta say i knew that i had a spider-man pop somewhere here it is oh ah, i don't know what spider-man pop this was supposed to be i got these so long ago and i have like a whole entire freaking collection of them so we're gonna use these to kind of be like book stoppers and be like little de decor <laughs> decor pieces. Um, but I don't really know how I'm gonna organize these, but I'm gonna try to figure something out. hardcover books and next what I'm gonna try to do is do all of my like thicker books you guys might be wondering why I'm doing it sporadically and that's because I don't have the books to fill up every single cube so I'm just trying to basically fill just them sporadically that way it doesn't look super empty so of course we just start off our thick books with Mariana Zapata I think you want to put them over here all of my thick books Basically, it looks like he's holding the books from the shelf. That's like perfect. Should I do like, oh, this is gonna be hard though. So basically what I plan on doing from here on out, when I get new books in, I have the, that roller cart that you guys see all over Bookstagram. I keep, I used to keep like all my like stationery in it, but I don't anymore. So what I'm thinking about doing is just putting the book cart like over here and like all my to be read books, keeping them there and then shelving them once I have read them. From here on out, of course, I have not read some of them that are on the shelves because I just got them like The Wall of Winnipeg and Me and Film of Golf with Love and some of them that I'm about to shelf, but I want to put all of my like five star reads in one shelf which is hard because it ends with us is in this Colleen Hoover shelf i think i'm gonna go with this pile because honestly this is basically all my five star reads so yeah Okay, these are just kind of like my random books. Like, honestly, most of these are like four stars, but they're just kind of randomly thought out. So where should I put these? I think I'm just gonna try to fill like all the middle of these. Honestly though, I'm kind of low key filling up quite a bit of space. Okay, and here I will put Actor A B Brown and these other three books that are pretty mediocre. Okay, now for my thriller slash dark academia shelf. Definitely since this is a thriller, we're gonna put the freaking Dinner Morgan because I feel like that's iconic. The very last books I have are all of my poetry books, which I'm definitely gonna put at the bottom because I'm just gonna be so honest, I'm not really reading my poetry books. That's often. I actually have two classics, The Great Gatsby and The Pride and Prejudice that I haven't read. 
but I actually, so you guys know those super aesthetic cloth bound classics. I really want to start collecting those and having like a shelf dedicated to those, but only classics that I would want. So Pride and Prejudice, because this is actually the old English version of Pride and Prejudice. So I want to get the cloth bound in the new English version. And I also want to get the Great Gatsby in cloth bound. I think there's some other ones like, is it Emma by Jane Austen? Um, there's a few different classics that I really want to get so that and I will probably honestly get rid of these once I get those so guys That Is my new bookshelf. Oh, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to just fill up everything else And like I said, I'm actually I have these other books too so and honestly I can make more bookshelf space like instead of just doing it all across I could do like a few across and then stack them like I will not need a new bookshelf for a very long time so I'm super excited super happy to fill that up and I feel like that's such a cute little filming area so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you guys liked it if you did give it a thumbs up down below and if you guys like me go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification button so to be notified whenever I upload videos and I will see you guys when I see ya peace